Hey everybody, welcome to Lighthearted Life and Collectibles. I'm Penny and this is Reborn Baby Skylar. I've got him in his little white sleeveless onesie and some little gray socks. We're going to put a cute little outfit on him. And he's had these gray socks on for a while, but I'm going to leave them because they'll be just fine with the outfit he's going to put on. So usually I keep things just lighthearted. I don't really say, you know, a whole lot about um, sort of controversial things or something like that. But this is just, this really bothered me. Like, I want to talk about it because, um, I don't know, like, this just struck a chord in me <laughs> that really prompted me to be like, you know what, I need to talk about it. And I'm going to send this video to the person that this happened to. I'm not mentioning her name because I don't know if she wants me to or not. But I just want to make this video in support of her because, I mean, I know how I would feel if it were me. So I'm going to dress Reborn Baby Skylar in this teddy bear outfit that I have put together. This hat does not go with this outfit, but I think it looks super cute. So we're going to put it together. So this little teddy bear hat is like cream colored and it's got little brown um, embroidered eyes and nose. And then this little heather blue shirt that says baby bear. And it has embroidery for the letters and also the little brown bear underneath the words baby bear is embroidered and it's brown, of course. And then the pants are heather blue with brown bears on them, but they're not embroidered. They're, uh, they're just on the fabric. So super cute. And then he had, I'm going to. I've tried these boots on him and they do fit, but I don't think they'll go with that outfit very well. So I'm going to save these boots for something else. And I'm just going to put these blue and white shoes back on him that have an American flag on the side. I think they'll go really good with this little outfit. And then we have a passy that has blue and gray that says hello. And then this little toy, it's just like a little teething toy. So we're going to place that with him too. So um, I want to talk to you about a scenario. This person has made a video about it and she also shared it on her wall. But I just kind of wanted to talk about it. I want to, you know, let her know how it would make me feel. Um, she has every right to feel the way she does. I mean, it's like, honestly, the way, you know, I've stated it on her channel um, it's the artist's loss, that's for sure. But, you know, I hate using the word high-end because I think that it makes it seem like everything else, that if you don't have something of this quality, that what you have is low-end. And honestly, my high-end and your high-end could be do two different things. So my high-end could be your low-end or, or vice versa. So... Anyway, I don't know, like, that's in the, it's like, it's, it's up for subjection. Like, that's subjective. What's high end and what's low end and yada, yada, yada. But anyways, um, a real sweet person in the community wanted to buy a doll that was more costly. We'll just say that. Because like I said, I hate using the word high end. Because I don't like anything that makes someone else feel less than. It just, I don't like that. So anyway, she wanted to buy a doll that was more costly. She contacted this artist and the artist um, told her she wanted references. And then when she got back with her, she told her that she wasn't going to sell to her because she was not a high end buyer and even insinuated that she like, you know, like, I don't want to be scammed. And that bothers me for so many reasons. Because one, just because somebody has purchased less expensive things in the past, and now they're purchase purchasing something that's more costly, does not make them a scammer. Like, why are we like putting people in categories like that? 
because they have, uh, you know, I have less of a buying ability than someone who makes more money than me. You know what I mean? But that doesn't make me a scammer because I've bought less expensive dolls and then I go to buy a more expensive one. That just means that I had to work extra hard to get it. I mean, you know, I'm, I work for the school system. I'm a teacher's aide and well, I'm subbing right now, but that just means that I had to save and maybe sacrifice some things. Like maybe I couldn't stop in the mornings and get something for breakfast. I had to cook it at home or I couldn't get that fancy coffee, which I don't drink coffee, but, um, or that loaded tea from the nutritional shop. I had to make my own or whatever. You know, I couldn't go out for lunch. I had to make my own and take it with me. You know, maybe I made a lot of sacrifices and I didn't spend a lot of extra money on other things. And I saved that money until I had enough to purchase that doll that I really wanted. And then to be turned down because um, your references didn't show that you were a quote unquote high end buyer. That really makes no sense to me. I know that would definitely make me feel some type of way because my money is just as good as anybody else's money. So whether I'm able to pay for it outright or I had to save for a while to get that doll. I mean, my money is just as good as the next person's and so is yours and so is hers and, you know, so is everyone else's. It just, I don't understand that. You know, like, to tell someone that you're not going to sell to them because they got bad reviews is one thing. If you, had, you know, you contacted their references and they, they got a bad reference, okay, yeah, sure, that's a legitimate reason. But because they haven't bought, quote unquote, high end before, and you know, you're not a high end buyer, so I'm not going to sell to you. That makes no sense to me, and I don't know about to y'all, but to me, that just seems very discriminatory. Like, I, how is that even okay? They wouldn't be okay anywhere else that that happened. You know, I, I've never bought a Mercedes Benz, but if I took the time to save up the money it would take to buy one and went to Mercedes and bought one, they wouldn't deny me because I'd never had one before. Like, if I showed up with the money, they'd be happy to take it, you know? They wouldn't say, I'm sorry, you've never bought a Mercedes-Benz before, so we can't sell one to you. They're, they're not going to say that. And it wouldn't even be okay for them to say that. So, if it's not okay in other circumstances, then why is it okay in our Dolly community? I mean, it's not to me. It's not as far as I'm concerned. I don't think that's that's okay to do. Um, especially when you don't have another reason other than the fact that they've never bought anything, like I said, air quotes, high end. Because like I said, I, I just, you know, high end is subjective. My high end and your high end could be two totally different things. So, I don't know, like, it just rubbed me the wrong way and just maybe feel some type of way about it, you know, because like we don't want our doll community to be in such a way that people are put into classes. You know, it's kind of like on the life, the, uh, on the, the, for the lifeboats for the Titanic where Rose's mom is like, will the lifeboats be seated according to class? You know, that's kind of what that reminds me of. It's like, it's just not okay. It's like elitism and we're all collectors in this, this doll hobby and this collecting journey together and not everybody starts at the top. You know, my first doll that I bought was a bountiful baby, like very low cost reborn. You know, I didn't start with a prototype baby you know i don't even have a prototype baby now but you know i'm just saying like 
not very many of us can start at the top. You know, we, we kind of get our feet wet in the hobby, you know, and decide what we like and don't like and decide what we can and can't spend. And we go from there. And if we want something that's more costly than what we normally would have, like in my case, if I want something that costs more than the dolls that I usually buy, I'll sell several dolls that I already have to get it. And to me, by doing that, that makes it that much. It's like I had to make a lot of sacrifices to get that doll that I really wanted. So for me personally, it makes it that much more dear to me. It, like it means that much more to me. Not to say that someone who has the money to buy a doll outright and immediately thinks less of their doll. But I'm just speaking for myself personally. You know, when, when I have to work longer, save longer, or sell several things to really get that one thing that I really, really want, it's worth it. And it makes it that, it makes it very special for me. So, I mean, everybody had to start with things that were less costly. I'm sure even that artist, you know, when she started painting, I'm sure you know, she, she's gotten better over the years as time has went on. Nobody starts off being perfect. So, I don't know. It's just, it just rubbed me the wrong way. And, you know, I feel very, uh, like I can really relate to this person that this happened to. And I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to say her name because I haven't gotten her permission or anything. I am going to send her this video so she can see it and know that I'm in support of her but um and I did comment on her video and you know and I just said in my opinion it's the artist's loss and that is exactly how I feel because my money her money your money is as good as anybody else's money and if you're gonna turn down her money then you've lost a sale like I, I don't I don't understand that logic of, well, I, I'm not going to sell to you because you're not a high-end buyer. Um, well, like I said, everybody starts somewhere. Not everybody starts at the top. So, I'm glad that's not everybody's attitude. And humility goes a long way. Like, being humble, when you are... When you own any type of business, when you make your customer feel like you are going out of their way or out of your way to help them achieve their dream, like if you know that's something they really want and you help them to achieve their dream in whatever way, that customer is going to remember that and they're going to come back. You know, so being humble will go a long ways when you own a business of any kind, but especially like with what we have with these beautiful babies where it's like they're so realistic and we get attached and you know what I mean? Like it's, it's different from just what I would say, like any, any other hobby. Um, because there is so much realism and they, um, they represent things like this baby is, um, a portrait baby of my son, you know? So he represents more than just a doll. So, um, it's, I don't know, like, I just don't think that that's okay. I don't think it's okay. I don't like it because I don't like to make anybody feel like they're less than for any reason. Um, and I just don't think that we should support that in this hobby. Like we need to make it known. Hey, we don't like that. That's not okay. So anyways, there's baby Skylar all dressed up in his little baby bear outfit. I'm going to take some pictures of him to put on Instagram and uh, be looking for those. He is the second edition Maddie by Bonnie Brown and he was reborn by Doodle Books Reborn Nursery at the time. She was Megan Johnson and she's married now. She's remarried so she is Megan Batson. So, but that is who his artist is. She did a great job with him. I've had him for over two years and he still is in pristine condition he looks great and yes i role play with him 
So you can role play with your babies and they can still be pristine. I know some people's opinions that's is that that's not the truth, but it definitely is. So anyways, I just wanted to come to y'all with this video because like it's really bothered me since I mean, I, I feel really bad for this person since I've seen her video and uh, saw her community wall post and all that. Like, it just, I don't know, it just rubbed me the wrong way. And I just wanted to talk about it. So, be looking for those pictures of Baby Skylar on Instagram. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.